Yeah, I guess like how do you stay hopeful? <laughs> so <laughs> you know what you know you know what it is like. Um, so you, you've been doing the work longer than I have. I I so restorative justice was a thing that I learned maybe like a year and a half ago. Mm-hmm. So. I, I don't even need I don't need to even to put the words like restorative justice on it. I mean like doing like liberation work, doing okay. community work when there are systems and stakeholders like so invested in like actually keeping things the way that they are. Oh yeah. So so I'm hopeful because I I guess maybe I still so I did I didn't start paying attention to like really 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 like the state of things maybe till like three years ago you know what i mean Mm -hmm. and you know i've i've always known that the 13th amendment said that it's about abolishment of slavery and involuntary involuntary servitude except as a form of punishment i've always known that but now now, like now, now I recognize that that's where the laws to mass incarcerate black and brown people to for them to still get their free labor. Well, that was the loophole, you know. So, mm. like now, I'm paying more attention to. I, I mean, I guess I could say that I'm hopeful because I'm in the work now, and now, like, I'm not fighting against the system. I'm working with it, and. With that, like I've always been an op- an optimist. I have to be an optimist because I don't want to feel like I'm just gonna waste the rest of my life and I'm not gonna change one damn thing. You know what I mean? And and my so right now I'm actually in the process of uh, applying for a full pardon from from Mr. Newsom. You know? Yeah. So I have to do that because I'm gonna get into the politics. I can't run as a felon. So, and I'm, I'm just hopeful because I, 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 as people in Washington and all around the country start aging now, um, you know what I mean? And it's, it's politics are going to get younger. And, and that's what keeps me hopeful. Like somebody like you is going to get in there and then more people like you absolutely not but somebody like yes not yeah, me somebody you know, like, yeah yeah you know your your age and and also like I, I i've met a bunch of awesome 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 young individuals here in albuquerque who are getting into restorative justice work who are purposely going to law school and who are you know what i mean like so that gives me hope and all I all 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 I can do is like, man, just root for them, and try to help them out as much as I can. But definitely, definitely, um, I'm gonna get in. I'm gonna jump in, man, head first into the politics. I I think I want to. I think I have to. Um, so I have to stay optimistic. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think like. I wouldn't be doing this work either if I didn't think like it could be impactful or make a change. I think like my, my view of like the rate of things changing is a little bit different, right? Because I, I see like these initiatives pop up and like lose funding based off of like, um, like, you know, quote unquote success of a program, um, and I'm not saying that like everybody who is doing violence interrupter work is doing a great job of it. Most of them are, right? Many of them are. Not everybody who's doing credible men- messenger work is like doing the best that it could be, but like at minimum, like it, it's employing somebody, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, who like could be doing something else pretty destructive. <laughs> um, yeah. And like it's probably preventing um, some some violence in communities. Those, those programs lose funding all the time based off of like political will and like whoever is like holding elected office or whoever is like choosing to fund this thing at a time. And so, so I don't have a lot of faith in like, like those systems, like being the, the source of like our, um, our, our liberation. And so like, when I think about my work 
and like amplifying restorative justice work. It is about community, giving people in community the skills to be able to do this uh, proactively, preventatively. That's longer work. That's not like an election cycle work. That's not like yeah. the term of like, that's not like a grant cycles work. It's about how are we building capacity in community to make sure that folks have the skills to navigate this conflict and harm between each yeah. other, but also like proactively build those relationships, like celebrate the small wins. Um, yeah. I, I think I, I think it's both and. Um, I, I think I've been let down and seen a lot of harm or like people not follow through in, in those systems. So this is like, that's where this yeah. energy is coming from. <laughs> yeah, no, and I, uh, no, still like, I know I totally agree with you. And I, I guess I could also say that in my position, I've been a little shielded or protected from, because we have a, a deputy director, we have a division manager, program manager, you know, and they're the ones that deal with the heavy, heavy red tape and bureaucracy. Yeah. So I might be a little protected as a, but also, like I said, you know, like um, you've definitely have been aware I mean, I've been aware too, but I, I was living, other than the criminal justice, I was doing my own thing. I was worried about not getting killed on a daily basis, you know? Yeah, yeah. So that really, so I didn't have time to think about all that stuff. No, but I definitely get you, you know, like government, any government is not really, um, especially like our national government, you know, like it, it should be not we the people, it should be we the corporations, right? Yeah. So. I mean, I, I I I totally fully understand all that. Like the way the way uh, um, ghettos are formed, redlining. Ghettos mm -hmm. are franchises, you know, like um, predatory lending and everything that affects us. Mm -hmm. But um, other than civil unrest, I I don't see it. Like I have to try to do my part to try to bring a voice to the legislator from some somebody like me you know that's that's what i'm trying to do like i'm gonna go up there and hey just speak my mind you know and now we have somebody to represent like the people who have never been represented at least in my maybe i'm uh wishing on a star here but for now that's the plan you know yeah yeah i don't think that i don't think it's wrong to be hopeful <laughs>